So the OnePlus did send this out for review, quick disclosure, but everything I say in this video is of my own opinion, my own take. So there's no required talking points. Everything you hear is from me. So definitely trying to help you out to decide if this is going to be for you. So let's go ahead and talk about the key specs that matter. 6.82 inch LTPO 120 Hertz display. It's buttery smooth, but it hits a ridiculous industry leading 4,500 nit peak outdoors. This is, this gets brighter than the S24 ultra. This gets brighter than the 15 pro max. We have a triple camera on the rear. They actually label what they are. The F stops at least. This is a Hasselblad partnership camera, 50 megapixel dual pixel with OIS. We have a 64 megapixel periscope camera right there that's capable of zooming up to 120 times. It's insane. Also over here, a 48 megapixel ultra wide phase detection autofocus system. This thing is a beast and camera. Let me tell you for OnePlus, they really stepped it up here. Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 on board. And this also does have 16 gigabytes of RAM on the 512 gig variant. I think the 256 might have 12 gigs. You probably don't need more than 12, but 16 just takes us to the next level. But look at that right there. Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. That is a big change um, for the industry. These new 8 Gen 2, 8 Gen 3 chips are just insanely good. They've taken Android to the next level. 5,400 milliamp hour battery is huge. This battery is, is a monster. It lasts forever. I'll talk about it later as we get into the battery section, but it's bigger than the S24 Plus and the S24 Ultra and the Pixel 8 Pro, and it's even bigger than the 15 Pro Max. This is the biggest battery on the market right here for like these type of phones, like one of the biggest batteries. They're, it's not the biggest out there. There's going to be a phone with a 6,000, a 65. It's probably like a gaming phone or something like that, but for flagship phones, these are massive batteries in these new OnePlus 12 series devices. So this is pretty awesome. Talk about first the body and the build. 228, uh, 20 grams, not 228, 220 grams. So this thing is quite, uh, it's got some heft to it, um, but it's not super heavy. It's got a nice balance too. It's a little bit top heavy because the camera's huge, but the actual comfort of it is quite nice. One thing I will knock it for is I feel like my finger keeps touching this massive camera bulge. So if OnePlus can find a way to clean this up a little bit, um, I don't know if they're going to do that because it's kind of like their signature look now, but I can tell you, I definitely am having my fingers touch this all day. At least it doesn't get too fingerprinty, but it still happens. Now, I will say in terms of the actual ergonomics of the phone, it feels very nice to hold due to the curved rear and the curved front edges. It feels very good in that respect. On the right side, you're going to find yourself the volume rocker right here, as well as the power button. Taking it down to the bottom, you'll see USB-C 3.2. We also have ourselves a SIM card tray right here, speaker grill right there. And then up at the top, you'll find yourself the added IR blaster for using you know remote IR signal. So that's a pretty cool thing as well. On the left side, we have the silent switch over here, which I think was moved over from the OnePlus 11. Um, overall, it just feels nice. If you were wondering if that's like a sandstone finish, it's really not, it's more of a, flaky glass matte texture. So, you know, it's premium. It reminds me of those, you know, cars that have like a high end paint job and then you see it in the sunlight and it has like a nice, you know, flake in the paint. That's kind of what this feels like. Also, there's some flakes inside of that camera housing as well. So you'll see that shine as well. So OnePlus did a good job at making this phone look and feel very premium. I do think it's, 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 a, it's one of the best looking Android phones on the market today. If you ask me, it really is even though they're not the most popular out there brand, they're still definitely crushing it. And you could tell they pay attention to the details and what people have been asking for. So I really like that about the OnePlus here. The 6.82 inch screen is massive, but it's not super wide. So it's got a narrow, comfortable fit to it. Um, if you like a wider display though, this might not be for you. You'll really like this though, if you like a more narrow, um, it's not narrow, but like a slightly more narrow, more comfortable fit in the hand. So if, you, if you're if you into that, you're gonna love this thing right here. The phone is IP65, so it's got an official IP rating. However, it's not IP68, so you don't wanna submerse this in water. Don't take this as a bathroom, drop it in the toilet or the tub. You know, I, I wouldn't recommend you take these to that area anyway, but just be very careful whether you're having the phone while you're you know, by the poolside, by the beach. You don't wanna get this submersed. It will probably damage the phone if it's in there too long or anything like that. So be careful with this in that scenario, but for everyday usage, a little splash here, a little splash there, a little rain on it, you drop it in the 
you know, you, you get it wet. It's not going to be a problem. It's just like, don't submerse this phone. That's the only thing I would say about it. So overall, the actual build, the fit and finish, it's nice. Also, I had a question. Is there an installed screen protector? And the answer is yes. It comes with a screen protector out of the box. I didn't see a case in this global US version. So you're probably not getting a case in the box. So some people are not going to like that, but at least you're getting a massive charger. You can charge this thing at a ridiculous 100 watts. It tops out at 80 in most circumstances, but it's still 100 watt max. It's a very nice charging cable right here. USB A right here and um, USB C on the other side. But this thing charges ridiculously fast and it lasts so long because of that huge battery inside. Now, the display quality on this phone is absolutely fire. Let me tell you why. Let's go over here and display. You'll see right here, we know it gets bright. All phones get bright these days. We have a screen color mode. This is why it's cool though. You can change between natural pro and vivid and you have warm and cold. That's pretty standard stuff on Android. But here, let me show you the big, the big change here. This anti flicker, flicker reduction mode on this phone. I haven't seen this on most other phones. This is a proprietary technology that ensures like basically less PWM or you, you not to be able to see that. Combine that with the smart eye comfort. This phone is the phone you want. If you don't, if you get migraines from OLED displays, this is the one. If you don't, this is not going to be the biggest deal in the world to you, but it definitely still gives you a more comfortable display. So of all the displays I looked at this year, this is one of the most, this is probably the most comfortable Android display I've ever seen. Like in terms of just kind of like, you know, not irritating my eyes or giving me a migraine or eye strain. This is to, it's at the top of the board. This is definitely a, a really amazing panel. Now you'll see here we have the auto select or the standard select for the screen refresh. So it can actually change between it's like adaptive. It can change between. Um, but going into the actual experience of the panel itself, the back gestures work really well because of the curved display panel here. So it feels very premium and nice to use in that respect. In addition, this panel right here has a really like bright look indoors, but not so bright that it's searing. But then when you take it outside, it matches up to the brightness you need outside. So it's overall just a comfortable panel. You can see that the punch hole doesn't really get in the way too much either. Taking it off to YouTube, the video watching experience is actually quite good as well. You can see right there, it's definitely wide enough. Pinch in, it's very good. The punch hole is a minimal distraction, although I still really love the, the pop-up camera on a OnePlus of the, the past. I think it was a OnePlus 7 Pro, um, but it's still not a, a major issue. You can see the curve right there is still quite premium if you like it, but you also get to take advantage of this larger panel with the split screen modes right here so you can swap sides you can do split screen so i mean you could do that on other oneplus phones before but i like being able to take advantage of the bigger display panel you also have the ability to bring these applications in as well so it's just a really overall it's just a really good experience here for the oneplus series phone when it comes to the software here we're looking at oxygen os 14 which is more like ColorOS 14, but it's Android uh, 14. Now, I'm not gonna cover every single thing here, but we'll go through some of the cool features. So let's go to special features here. You'll see split view, floating window, a quick return, quick launch, smart sidebar, which we talked about a little bit earlier, and you can move that around. We also have a kids mode, a very simple mode, and one of my favorite things, which is the Zen space which allows you to lock yourself out and stop being so distracted by your smartphone. So you got quite a few things you can do here with this phone. The floating window one is kind of nice as well. It, it doesn't work with all the applications, but it's pretty nice. You have a button free mode. You have quick hide video uh, window in game. So there's a lot you can play around with um, for sure. Going up here, if we go to wallpapers and styles, we also have customizable always on display, which is what you've been used to for her OnePlus phone. So let's take a look at some of them here. You can see you can change them out. Hold on, let me go back. You could change them out here, change the colors and do what you will. I got this uh, polar bear because it's been super cold around here lately. You could see pretty good 
and then we'll go over here. You'll see the text clock. So there's quite a few things you could play with. The wallpapers, not too many new wallpapers here. You got these new OnePlus ones right here, but they kind of kept a lot of the old OnePlus wallpapers up in there, so that's there. The icons are pretty customizable though. The material, you know, you can do different, you can do Art Plus icons, you can change app name size, and then you have different colors as well. You can do uh, on here. I kind of like these ones. I'm not sure why. I like that color. They're this they're kind of toned down. They're not overly vibrant or anything like that, but it's pretty cool. If you go to the font sizes, you could change that. You can actually change the style of the font too, depending on what you prefer. So you got that option. And then you can even change the fingerprint animation, which is quite nice. So that's this right here when you go like that. And by the way, since we're talking about that, the fingerprint sensor has been rock solid on here. It's super quick, super fast. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bubble. Let's take a look at the fizz. I don't really like the bubble. Let's go to the fizz. That one's pretty cool. The cosmos, we'll take a look at that. Yeah, I'll leave it on the cosmos, so that's pretty good. You also have edge lighting when you get notifications. It can light up in a certain color like red on the always on display. You got this gold color or blue. So a few, but not too much. And then if we go back here, you'll see that's about it on that front. Home and screen and lock screen. You got a lot you can do here. One of the nice touches I do like is that they have this ability to change your animation speeds without having to go in developer options. You can go to fast or medium to really, you know, crank up the speed of animation. Let's go ahead and take a look at how that looks. Let's go to home screen, lock screen. First, we're going to look at the medium one. Let's go ahead and look at the medium. That's how that looks. Let's go ahead and go to fast now. And let's go ahead and take a look at it now. Yeah, you can definitely tell a difference. So I'll probably put it on fast for the uh, speed test I'm going to do. Maybe I'll do a medium speed test as well just to see the difference between both of them. So you can see pretty much a nice layout, lots of stuff. Even on here, I notice in the battery, they got a little battery health section, which will tell you your maximum capacity. Not all Android phones tell you that. You can stop charging at 80. They also have a smart charging mode as well. And then you got reverse wireless charging on board, wireless charging on board, which is not something all OnePlus phones used to have. So they're really, they're not really leaving you settling for anything much here. And take a look, our battery is still at 100% since I started this video. I noticed this, this phone stays at 100% for like ever. And then once it starts coming down, it comes down a little faster, but still it's like, it never drains. This thing is a, is a stamina beast right here in the OnePlus 12. I'm telling you, man, this is the phone, one of the Android phones you want if you want amazing battery life. That is a for sure. Now, talking about performance, I got to tell you, it's been crazy good. We have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, which is a better version of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. And it's ridiculous. I tried the games. The games never really made this phone too warm. They also have this Hyperboost gaming engine. And you can kind of like use these features in the game. I don't know where they're at. They're, they're at top or something like that. They, they pop up during a game. And it kind of feels like you're using a gaming phone here. So we have a separate visual processor just for kind of like the visuals, you know, of the phone itself, like when scrolling and stuff. And then you have separate section for games as well. I mean, this is not even a hard game for any phone to run, but this, this phone right here is just, man, I'm telling you, this thing doesn't really leave you settling for almost nothing. And I'm not just saying that, like, it really doesn't. I was trying to look for stuff that's a problem with this phone. Literally, you just got to be biased to not like it. You just don't like the way it looks, and that's just your opinion. But the actual objective phone is pretty darn amazing. Their heat management in here is crazy good. It has no heat issues whatsoever. And buttery smooth animations pretty much around the OS. It's one of the best performing, if not the best performing Android phones I've ever seen. So I'm going to be putting this up against the 15 Pro Max, the S24 Ultra, you know, even maybe the S23 Ultra speed test. So Beast, Beast State... So stay tuned for that because it's definitely coming. Now when it comes to the cameras, we already talked about the specs. The weather has been terrible around here, so I don't have too many samples to show you in this one, but I'll show you what I did catch, what I did grab on this one, but we'll go two times, you can go three times, six times. Then they have this master mode over here, which allows you to do all pro professional type stuff. You have 4K 30, 8K, 4K 60, 8K at 24, so not 8K 30, but still, 
8K. You're probably not even using 8K. If we go over here to video, you have the macro mode, which is cool. I haven't seen that on all OnePluses in the past. That's nice. Also, you have this action mode up here. Settings are all right here from the camera itself. Portrait mode. And then quite a few features in here. A high resolution mode. If you want a really well lit image that's really sharp. Movie mode, dual video, X pan, tilt shift. It's loaded. That's all I got to say. It's absolutely loaded. And with the Hasselblad partnership, the camera is no longer something that I think is an issue for almost anyone. So if you're gonna say they don't have a good camera, you're just wrong, period. So selfie camera is good at 32 megapixels. That's also good. The only thing that you know you can say is that you like the way an image performs better on another phone, but to say they have a bad camera is just absolute nonsense because some people do like to bash OnePlus for this. These days though, they do not have a bad camera. They have one of the best now um, because of this partnership. In addition, they've been putting better uh, cameras than ever before. And one other thing I want to talk about before I get up out of here is look at this zoom. 120 times. Look at the zoom range. Yes, it's going to go digital. It's not going to be as sharp. But just the ability to do it, it's, it's pretty cool. Like, come on, you got to give credit where credit's due. So next up with this OnePlus 12, the battery life. So let's go over here and I'll scroll down to the battery section. The phone is lasting ridiculous amounts of time. I was using it for over six hours screen time and it still had over 60% battery left. This is a warrior battery phone. And if you're gaming, it's going to be longer than most phones in a heavy gaming session as well. So this is one of the phones you need to seriously consider if you're looking for an Android phone with great battery life. It's been one of the most impressive things I've learned about this throughout my review section. Now, the audio speakers are pretty good, but they're not the best I've heard. They're still very decent um, up here as well. So I think there's a section for audio somewhere in this phone. Yeah, I don't know where it's at, at the moment, but it's definitely very loud and there's no real issues. I also love the OnePlus Buds Pro 2. Using these with the OnePlus is just amazing. So if you're using the OnePlus Buds of any sort, they have these earbud functions, specifically with the OnePlus Buds Pro 2. It's a really nice experience. You pop them open. You can use these different modes like transparency, noise cancellation. You have SoundMaster EQ. You can change between. This has got some high-res audio as well. Golden sound. Zen uh, spatial audio on here as well. You also have Zen Mode Air. I mean, there it's loaded. One of the last things I want to talk about is the phone call quality. It's definitely up there. It did really well in this respect as well. I'm not a big fan of the way the dialer looks. Just wanted to point that out, but it did pretty good. Bluetooth 5.4 on here is one of the latest Bluetooth standards, Wi-Fi 7. It does have eSIM support if you want to use that, but I would reckon most people are not going to want to use that. Um, I found one con I found is that the fingerprint is too bright at night. It like brightens up the screen and it's like kind of jarring. So if you're using the phone at night, I would definitely recommend um, not using this super late. If you're going to be using the fingerprint sensor, that's kind of annoying. But in conclusion, OnePlus is stepping it up here in 2024. They're definitely, you can tell their focus on not so much like changing the overall phone itself like a ton, 
but giving the user a great experience. And I really like that. The anti-flicker display, the super long battery life, the buttery smooth Trinity, the buttery smooth X7 Visual Pro processor in here that they put in this phone. Also, we still got the shelf, by the way, that they put in here really smoothens out the whole experience. It's an incredible piece of gear here. Definitely one of the best phones I've ever used so far. I absolutely love it. And it's not just because they sent it out. I would love this phone, even if I bought it myself, is definitely really going to be a, a great recommendation. So if you find this on the deal, you have a good trade-in offer. I think it's definitely worth a look, especially if you care about eye comfort with the display. You want long battery life. You want a really versatile camera setup, and you don't want to pay for a Galaxy S24 ultra priced phone. It's going to be a great deal. It's a winner. I love it. One plus 12. That's my full review of the device. Stay tuned for speed tests with this beast right here. I'll catch you on the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Nick here. Be sure to be well and peace.